again, rail fans. Today is Sunday, June 14th. It's about eight o'clock in the morning now, and guess where we're going? We're going back to the Housatonic Railroad. And because it is, it's finally happened that two of their own units are in good working order, and they're finally paired up together. Uh, they've had the 3600 running, obviously, that we've seen a lot in the past. And the 3604 has been running for a couple weeks or so, but it hasn't been quite quite right, I guess. Uh, it was in limited service, but I guess last Thursday, which was the 6th or something like that, they finally decided to pair up the two of them, and I guess they both did fine, so they've been, they've been paired up for about a week and a half now. So today the plan is to chase NX-12, the Sunday version, which of course is the, um, on Sunday the 12th is the Pittsfield train, and then tomorrow on Monday the 15th I think we're gonna just head back on over and do 12 on the weekday, which of course is the new Melford turn. So that's the plan for today and tomorrow, and we'll see what happens.
All right, everybody. So I figured it was about time that I give a little update as to what we're doing. I'm still chasing the NX12 up to Pittsfield. Uh, we're in in Lee right now, which is just outside of Pittsfield. So we're getting pretty darn close. Um, it's been a pretty straightforward run up until now. They just did some work down in Lenox behind the Berkshire Scenic Railway Museum. They picked up one car, and that was it. So now they're coming back north already. It took them about 10 minutes to, to do all those moves, and they're on the way now. So this will probably be either the last shot or one more shot after this until we get into Pittsfield Yard where they pick up the cars from CSX. And it sounds like they might be waiting there a little bit, but not quite sure yet. So we'll see how we go how that goes. All right, so it's 12 o'clock noon even right now. And what we're seeing now is they're dealing with their inbound cut of cars and their outbound cut. And they're possibly waiting for CSX Q424 to drop off even more cars for them to bring south. Uh, they haven't decided if they're going to wait or not yet, but either way should be a pretty good sized train going south, a little bit longer than what they brought north. And that last shot we just saw was with uh, both their inbound and outbound cuts together. So they were pulling about 30 cars, so made a little bit of noise out of the two Jeep 35s. Um, I looked it up on, on the Railroad Picture Archives, and both of these units were built for the Pensy back in 1965. So they've definitely got some miles under them. But anyway, that's what we're up to now at noon, and maybe we'll go find some lunch. Good 
Well, everyone, I think that's going to conclude our video for today. It's about um, 1.15 now. I've got work at 4 o'clock, and by the time 424 gets here, by the time the Housatonic leaves again, I'll probably just have to head home anyway. So, I figure I'll get a head start, and that way I can have some time to do stuff like process photos and process videos for you guys before I go into work at 4. So anyway, it was a pretty good day. Uh, we got them coming all the way north with the pair of, of painted Jeep 35s from 1965 for the Penzi. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll chase the southbound run to New Melford and north and back um, because that job is out of Canaan by 6, they're in New Melford by 8, 8.30, and they're out of New Milford by 9.30. So that's, pr that's a pretty quick trip. We'll be able to get them north and south tomorrow on Monday. So I guess that's about it for now. Uh, links to the Facebook, Instagram will be up after this. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell at the, at the bottom down there, and you'll get an email whenever I put up a new video on the channel. And I guess that's about it, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. I'm Aiden Nice, and I'll see you in the next one.